man, I forgot I need to get an oil change. I'm at like 5%. I do not recommend any of y'all with a what's the name doing that. But we finna go work out right now, y'all. I couldn't hold myself to it no more with working out in the gym. The sun and everything just be feeling too good outside. And it just wouldn't make sense to, you know, keep being in the cribbo. So we're gonna get back on the outside. They don't really got no uh, calisthenic bars and stuff, especially dip bars compared to, um, you know, at my last apartment and stuff. But I feel like it's peaceful out here. Why? Cause there's nobody out here. Well, ain't nobody was at my last apartment, but y'all catch what's going on. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm starting to like this vlog and style on the, the second channel. I still like the first channel too, but I be liking just to pick up the camera and just, man, come on. That jump be fun, no cap. This is a, uh, a isometric hold workout. So everything pretty much slow, you know, so try to keep it like five sets and don't even put no reps on it. Just try to do as many as you can. Five seconds on each, you know, pulling up, five second pause, and then, you know, letting down. You wanna do five seconds on each one of those and just try to do as many as you can. So and then I superset it with uh, diamond push-ups. So you just go back and forth with that. You gonna definitely feel it for sure. I low key, I brought the wrong resistant bands. So this one kind of too, too heavy to do lateral raises. So that's why I'm doing like halfway, but shoot, we still gonna be able to get it done for sure. I had to show y'all this before I forget. It was on my spirit. I put fast and breaks everything you thought you once was and turned you into everything you're meant to be. No cap. I know the sun probably, now I know y'all see me, but here go the burner. I can't even hold the camera. I like, I like doing circuits, bro, because it's like, you really feel it though. Like, breathing wise and everything like that, you know? So, I just got done with the first set. You're doing push ups and squats. For the push ups, 
it's 10 seconds down and then you push up. 10 seconds down, push up. As many as you can, going straight into squats. Squats, 20 uh, standstill squats. And then you're gonna do like a little froggy, uh, froggy jump type deal for 10 and then 20 standstill squats again. And then go back into the, into the push-ups. Let's do it. Ah. All right, y'all. I don't got no juice at the curl. I got water, like cold water, but I feel like having this tangerine juice or some coconut water right now. So we finna end up um, probably going to the Sprouts real quick. It's stupid close to me, so it ain't a Daniel. I gotta get used to up here vlogging with my like my big camera. Usually, uh, most of the time, I'm vlogging with my phone in the stores and stuff, just cause I don't feel like you know they gonna bitch like crazy. That grass, you know, I just gotta get used to. It. I seen somebody was like, "How you get used to vlogging in the in the store?" Shoot, honestly, I ain't yet. No cap, just cause I always been like a a quiet person, so I just be liking the the chill stuff, like just going, you feel me, in and out. But man, get right, you feel me. Like honestly, I wouldn't say it's all the time, but majority of the time, sometimes it's like I don't feel like vlogging in the store. Sometimes I just you feel me walking bold where I'm like, so I don't care. And then I'll be going back and forth. So I ain't gonna sit here and cut down to y'all. Like I'm just having that mug in motion, just holding the camera up, just holding the camera up like, like so. But sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just takes some getting used to, honestly. And then one thing you just gotta learn too is like the worst thing they can tell you is stop recording. <laughs> like that's the worst thing. So, I mean, People be saying that, I be feeling for it. Like, shoot, that, hey, no cap. <laughs> he was not lying, Jack. For my folks that's on, uh, for my folks that peep this, my skating community, man, my fault, y'all. They say you're not supposed to hold the skateboard like this. My fault, y'all. As a skater, I sincerely apologize, bro. No cap, man. 
I just peeped it. I just looked. I ain't, I ain't know for for. I think it was because folks used to do it. Um, I don't know why, but it's hated for sure. <laughs> My fault, y'all, man. It's all love in the skating community, man. You know what I'm saying? As a real deal skater, I'm going to call myself. Well, I ain't going to call myself. That's corny, but you feel me? Like me getting into skating now, man. Look, I ain't, I ain't hip yet. We finna get hip. You know what I'm saying? That called growing. I skated before. And now we're going to keep this mug going. We finna go today. I got a homeboy. I got uh, Derek actually finna skate with me today. We finna go to a park. So um, I'm going to hold y'all down today. You feel me? Again, my fault. Sincerely apologize to the skating community. I'm playing, but just not playing, but playing. I sincerely apologize. You feel me? But um, I feel for that, bro. No cap. I feel for that. They might look at it as like, um, you know, wearing Nikes with Adidas or, you know what I'm saying, nothing, something crazy like that. So, you feel me, like this day, you feel me, this day stop the grounds. I'm just here to, you feel me, get right. You know what I mean, I'm trying to, you like, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm trying to learn how to ollie. I'm trying to learn how to kick flip. I'm trying to learn how to do all that. So, we, we finna make this serious, like, real deal. <laughs> no joke, jokes aside, so, um, yeah, this ain't for fashion statements or, you know, Nathaniel like that. So I'm real deal trying to, trying to skate. So let me make that clear. Let me go grab this tangerine juice because I feel like I'm yapping right now for no reason. I just had peeped that and I'm like, dang, <laughs> no cap. Double on that. They've been hot in this mug. It's about four of those. And this is what I'd be saying, it can get expensive. This is 14 bar, sorry, Gucci, and this is an eight bar. Difference is, yeah, I don't know. And this one being a 10, I bet this one better, but hey, I don't want to feel like spinning today. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it's so much better when you, you know what I mean, you're getting it like just regular degla, so it's all Gucci though, so this is what we making today. I normally try not to do this as much, just because, um, yeah, our body don't break down almonds too good, so keep it mostly fruit and things like that, and then y'all know I got the black seeds, hemp seeds, performance mushrooms, some dates. And then for the bananas, I would, again, y'all know I always, I always say it, it's better to use burial bananas or baby bananas, but um, literally the, the spot by me was not having um, baby bananas and things like that. So we're really just using this for right now. But again, I definitely prefer, and for y'all too, if y'all can find them, to use uh, baby bananas and things like that. So I really should mess around and just Cut deep. Hold on. I know it's bothering me. I really need to mess around and just cut these and 
put them into a smoothie, but I think I'm gonna just end up um, eating these just regular daily. And I got a juice today later on because these things is about to get old, honestly. Before they get old, I need to get that done. Be free. Oh, what's up? No cap. So I'm finna make this smoothie real quick, y'all. Um, I might go skate early. Um, cause Derek just hit me up. After this, might just go ahead and just go straight to the uh, park, and then um, yeah, do that. Cause it's nice outside. Yeah, Pete. But it's not real quick. It's an everyday thing now, yeah. Workout, smoothie, get started with the day. The more you keep it simple, bro, the more you can stick with it, whatever routine, whatever thing you got going on. So that's what I like to do. I don't like to keep everything so long, bro. My routine right now is wake up, spend time with God. And today I actually did not spend time with God this morning. Um, I really just woke up and I went to go straight work out. So that's something I definitely need to do today. But um, yeah, wake up, spend time with God. Sometimes I shower before my workout. Sometimes I don't. I just probably, sometimes I brush my teeth and then just go work out depending. So, and then work out smoothly. You know what I mean? Like the more you keep it simple, I promise you, that the key to the whole, that's like the main thing for her. And we is gonna, we gonna, and this is what we got today too, bro. This is my favorite. It's starting to become like my favorite fruit. It's pears, bro. No cap. I need to get the dishes done too. Never pour this mug right up. <laughs> oh, tripping. Usually, like, let's say I'm about to go somewhere, like, and be out for a long time, I be bringing stuff with me, but I'll be starting off with a bit by the ain't gonna lie. Kind of satisfy you for the day type deal. I don't know this dude's YouTube channel right here either. I just seen this. Bro was buying a Ram, a Ram TRX. Them cars be kind of tough, I ain't gonna lie. But, that's why. And that technically ain't all fruit. Like it is, but it ain't. So I had, I usually, so like most of the time, I'm usually like pouring a whole coconut water. So usually like most of the time, I'm pouring the whole coconut water like in it. So that's why it brings it to, you know, that tall and stuff, so. Oh yeah, for the phones, y'all, I forgot to tell y'all. So, this phone right here, as y'all peep, I cracked this one too, if y'all can see. So, um, this one is like, I think the, I don't know how much gigabyte, it might be, I don't know how much gigabyte this is, but it ain't enough, and this one is a one TB. So, um, this was like my personal phone where I wasn't using it as much, and I don't know why I didn't did it. I didn't do it first of all, because this phone is my business phone, so I be having like my Instagram, all that type deals on it. But I be recording like reels and stuff on this iPhone. So um, I basically just switched them over. Like I switched this number to this number, so I can have like you know what I mean, like everything on one. Because usually I'll have to. Again, I don't know why I didn't do it from the first, but usually I would have to record on this and then send it to this. And then sometimes I have to delete stuff with this or sometimes like, basically this phone was supposed to be like a phone where, you know, like I'm spending time with God or just using it as like, just personal. You feel me? Like not, no Instagram, no net, but majority of the time I'll be recording on this. So I, I will download an Instagram on this so I can uh, upload it to Instagram because this phone don't got enough storage and things like that. So basically I just switched them over. And um, low key, I feel like, I don't know if I finessed or anything just cause, cause this one right here, 
Like this one don't got um, Apple covers. But since I switched, like I switched, you feel me? Now this one says it got Apple covers. So I wonder if I can use the Apple covers because the Apple coverage was only supposed to be on this one. You feel me? So now I'm thinking like, hold on. You feel me? Like, could I? So we gonna see what's going on. I might end up going um, to the Apple store either today or it's probably tomorrow. Maybe this weekend, I'll see what's going on. But yeah, that's what basically I was doing all yesterday. Cause I like to, like one phone is just basically, I don't know, I'd be liking to have a lot of stuff organized. Like I try not to be on a perfectionism ish. Cause I, that's where I really come from. You feel me? Like having, trying to have everything in this order and this order and this order. And what I'm realizing, like, you don't never, you know what I'm saying? It don't never come out like that. So, um, yeah, now, but just besides that, yeah, I like to keep like one phone. I like to keep one phone, like strictly for business. You know what I mean? YouTube recording on that and things like that. And then my main phone, I'm usually using it to read or, you know what I'm saying? Like what I just did, um, I went to, you know, the park and I'm just, I don't want no, you know what I'm saying? No Instagram, no YouTube, no Nathaniel on it. So I literally just kept it just plain Jane. You feel me? And not a lot of people got that number either. Only like a select few. You feel me? So it make it even better so it ain't no distraction. So that's why, you know what I mean? I kind of have, I like having two phones too. That boy cussing up a storm, eh? You might as well be more successful than me. You're probably smarter than me. You don't work hard for me, that's one thing. But you might have to take the energy to know what you come from. But I'm telling you, brother, if you truly put your mind to it, if you fully commit, go all in, work on your mindset, work on developing the greatest version of yourself, you can elevate to a level where you can achieve anything. Bro, that's so that's so true though, bro. Notice like a lot of times we be like we know what we be knowing what we should be or should become, bro. But like what everybody say, bro, is all up here. Like once you change, that's why I say all the time, bro. Once you change your mind, you change your life. And I'm not even where I, I want to be. You know what I'm saying? Yet, you feel me? I'm at a place right now where, yes, like this is like my dream life to have. Yes, it's like you know what I mean? Like I've always dreamed of doing, you know, things like this where I can record my life. I can, you know, um, help, help, you know, help people. Like, like, I feel like this has always been my dream thing, but bro, like it's always, you know what I mean? It's always something you can even, like it's like an ongoing growing process, bro. Like it's an ongoing growing process. So. Um, just like what, how I went, bro. Y'all seen where I came from, bro. I did, you know what I mean? Like I started with basketball and then I went to fashion. Then I'm like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like I still like the fashion and stuff, which I still, I love it. You know what I mean? But like when I was first doing YouTube, bro, I was doing like, it wasn't me. You feel me? Like it was like, I even did like a prank of my stuff. I don't want to say it wasn't me, but like I was always coming on this mud, being excited. Like, yo, what's like, I'm like, bro. That's not even my personality, bro. Like, if anybody know me, bro, they know I'm quiet. Like, my family know it. Even the family I was with, they was like, that's just who you are. Like, that's just who you are. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong with it. God can use each and every body. I'm not trying to be nobody. I'm not, I'm not trying to be this person or this and that. One thing I noticed, like, and it's, if this is for anybody that's doing YouTube, bro, it don't work. I'm telling you, it won't work if you're trying to just copy somebody just the same exact way. It does not work. It can only go so far. And then you're going to come to a point where you're like, bro, I want to be myself. And in that time you being yourself, people are not going to recognize who you are because the person you're trying to be, they're going to be like, wait, why are you trying to be somebody you're not? But that person you was trying to be was always you. 
but you got your followers, your subscribers, like just so confused where they like, bro, who is it? You're not saying like, who is this person? So like, it's so much growing in his life. You feel me? Like it's so much growing and I'm like the position I am right, I'm in right now. I'm not doing no, nothing crazy. You feel me? I'm not doing nothing crazy, but I'm standing on being myself. I'm standing on, you feel me, letting God use me. I'm standing on showing my faults. I'm standing on trying to be the most raw and realistic because I feel like I've been through each and every emotion. So I be feeling for people that, you know, lose somebody. I be feeling for people that sometimes feel like they're not themselves. I be feeling for people where, you feel me, they, they, they been in position where it's like always something bad happening like each and every single day where I got to a point I'm like, bro, is anything good going to happen? And if something good will be happening, I'm still thinking like, man, whatever. You feel me? Like, I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? Just because so much bad was happening. But when it's like a constant thing of bad always happening, 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 bro, you just got to realize it's your turn, plain and simple. You got to put that in your mindset. It's your turn. Like, it's so much bigger than how we how we think and, you know what I'm saying, of this world. And I know I be hearing so many people, they be like, the perspective on this world is so much like, why would you hate it? Like, why would you love it down here? Like, the world is so, you feel me? But that's just the perspective. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can still enjoy what's here on this earth, bro, but you got to change your perspective. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's you, that's what, that's the, that's the thing. It ain't the routine. It ain't the doing push-ups today. It ain't, you know what I'm saying, waking up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Like, all that stuff cool, you feel me? But what comes first is up here. And what's even before this is up there. You see what I'm saying? Because God is the one that changes your heart. God is the one that changes each and everything around you. You feel me? And once you start realizing that, that's how you start loving yourself. The loving ain't just going to the movie solo like I just did yesterday. The, the loving ain't just, you feel me, like going to getting your nails done, getting your hair cut. That's a form of self-care. But what's even deeper than that that's going to change your life is where you go inner. When you go inner, you already know what come next, bro. Your fruit start flowing. You feel what I'm saying? Like the right fruit. You know what I'm saying? Like you can, you can be whoever you desire to be in this world. I promise you. I put that on everything you love, bro. I switched from basketball to YouTube. <laughs> I'm getting paid to be me on YouTube. You can, you can do anything you want in this world as long as you have passion behind it. If you got no passion, you're going to get to it to an extent. You can still use things as a like a jumping, you know what I'm saying? Like a jumping thing. Okay, I might have to work a nine to five to get to here. Okay, after I use this nine to five, okay, I stacked up enough money. Now I can I can go all in on what I what I want to do or whatever God needs me to be. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always stepping stones. But if you got passion behind it, bro, it's you're gonna go a long ways because you thinking in your mind, I don't care. What if this boat is if this boat sink, I'm gonna grab each and every thing to make the boat come back up. You know what I'm saying? Just because you got so much passion behind it. And then when you even love yourself even more and you let God change your heart and let God change what's inside of you, regardless of the storms, the things that come with business, entrepreneurship, you're going to be just like how Jesus was when he was in the boat in the midst of the storm. And he like, man, y'all chill. You know what I'm saying? Like he in the boat. That's that's I love that story, bro, because it's like he in the boat. Everybody panicking like, like, what's going on? Like, what you, you know what I'm saying? What you doing? This and that. And God and Jesus is just chilling in the boat. Like, relax. You know what I'm saying? Like, relax. And that's what we got to come to each and every day. And the, the way to come to that is the start of your day. You got you to gotta put your mind on the right thing. If you don't start the day the right way, it's going, it's going, your, your, your day going to be going crooked as opposed to going straight tunnel vision on what you know you should be doing, what you know you should be going. And my mindset right now is that I've wasted too many years. Because I y'all see this right here. Like, y'all see what's going on. Y'all might think, Oh, this, oh yeah, he living a dream, he living life, but I'm not even thinking, I'm not even so much, like I'm blessed and I'm grateful, but I'm thinking like, man, it's bigger. Like God got so much more bigger, you feel what I'm saying? Like, this is just so small. I got, we got a big God, that's how we got to think about it. I'm not just talking about the money, I'm talking about like a better version of who you think you should be. It's a better version of who you think you are. And you know it's a better version of you. But you still stuck on the old version. It just, I love watching people be talking about their stories and stuff like that, bro. Because it, it be hitting every time. But, um, yeah, bro. <clears> There's <throat> so much stuff that 
you know, I want to be able to accomplish so much stuff that uh, I want to be able to do while I'm here on this earth. And I think what's instilled in me, a lot of the things I do is not to prove people wrong. A lot of the things I do is for my last, you know what I'm saying, my last name. And it sounds corny, but that's how you got to think about this stuff. Like, I mean, and I feel like I'm not only trying to be the, the most richest dude on this earth. I want to be able to, I mean, set a set a standard for, you know, my kids, set a standard for, you know, set a standard for, like, my kids, set a standard for, you know I mean, like, my family, generations, and I feel like that's what we got to understand. It's so much deeper. I mean, when you realize that, that's when the ball gets to rolling. Because <laughs> it's like, ain't nothing really stopping you but yourself. <laughs> That'd be the crazy part that blow my mind every time I say it. Nobody is stopping you but yourself. And if you live by yourself like me, and you never came to a conversation with anybody else, and a, and a day where you just feel like down, or a day you just feel like, dang, look around. And just look, has anybody been talking to you that whole day? Has anybody been talking to you that whole day? Have you encountered anybody that whole day and then realize there is nobody stopping you? There's nobody getting in your head but yourself. So why are we an enemy of our own self? Once you stop being an enemy of your own self, that's when things start to really, real deal happen. Because you let you letting your, I'm saying you really, you're letting the real inner you come out. And that's the person that God knew before you was in your womb. I always go back to that because that's that's something we battle each and every day. No cure. Go leave in a few. We go to simple love. Fit. Uh, leave on the gym. I know I just said I won't be wearing jeans like that, but Loki just wanted to put them on today while we skating. And I ain't gonna lie, I'ma say it, but I ain't gonna say it, but I'ma say it. This, how I'll be using like the laces, no cap. I kid you not, bro. I don't even like being that person who's like, I started it. I ain't saying that, but y'all know when I said, I used to always look up like to Wiz Khalif. I used to always like, you know what I mean? Like when I was a young guy, I used to always listen to his music and stuff. And like, he the reason why I got tattooed. So, um, so growing up wise, he used to always do this, bro. Like he used to always use like the shoestrings as like a, you know, and I used to, I used to do it too, just because um, I didn't like the way belts like looked and stuff. So I literally used to do this a lot, but I didn't show it how I'm doing it right now. But I just like the style, I love it. But um, yeah, no cap. Like I was doing this mug for a minute. I ain't saying I was the first one to do it on earth, but I'm, I'm saying I was the first one to do it on earth. Tight there. I gotta clean up when I get back too. We thugging it right now. Holy thugging it. <laughs> thugging it in Christ. Stop playing. I've been rolling around, I was looking down at all I see. We at the skate park right now, y'all. Trying some stuff right now. We in the beginner phase. No kizzy. I ain't did this mud so long, bro.
Big body. That's a big body. <laughs> Got that man D with me, man. <laughs> we gonna get back right, I'm telling you. They hard right here, I ain't gonna lie. He, he been killing it, though. It's so hard today. Do the skateboard stuff, bro, I ain't know. I'm thinking I'm fine. I gotta get back right. They got so much stuff out here. They got the little, what's the name? We ain't hitting that yet. We trying to get right on this first. Some momentum, right? You talking about that rep? Yeah. <laughs> There's no speed I can hit that. Rip. That's on the list. That's on the list. That's on that the boy list. look crazy too. No we ain't far now, boy. We gonna get. I gotta get to my rhythm, bro. That's what really. That fall number one. <laughs> you know, it's the hard part is to get to go up and then come back down. Like to go, uh, uh, like this. That's hard, bro. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I was gonna try to practice. Yeah. Like, cause the rep right here, I was gonna try to hit with the ease over here. Is it hard? But it just feel like. Nah, I feel weird, bro. I ain't gonna cap. Like, yeah, because yeah. it's so like up there. It seemed like it's, it's so high up, yeah. Oh, no. Golly. He said, We're gonna get it one day. We're gonna get it one day. I don't feel like crazy, y'all. He got a down pat too. Hey, it's cr I don't know how you do it, bro. You doing it with your 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 right foot forward, ain't it? Are you doing it with your right foot forward? Are you left hand left-handed? Yeah, it's different. Yeah. I feel like. It don't be crazy because once you get past these steps, it's really Gucci. That new apartment smell, right? That would have said the same thing, bro. Cause look, look at look what we got over here too. Oh my goodness! That might be looking crazy every time. 
and then you got the balcony. What I'm trying to do out here is, what I was supposed to do in my last apartment, is put like green grass, like mm. all around here, and make it like a, where I can just wake up and just get the, putting out push-ups and stuff for real. But like, it just, you feel me, bro? That just so peaceful. Kind of see the level up because your old one you know, was faced towards the exactly. road and stuff, but now it's like the road to the side, still there, mm -hmm. but now it's just straight greenery and stuff, so. bro. And it's like a, I think it's like a trail that way. Oh yeah, you can see it a little bit. There's so much room and stuff. So this is the supposed to be like the guest room. I don't know why they did it like this, where they got the, the, um, this joint bigger. Oh. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna show you my other one. Okay, a little tour, a little tour. Okay. Yeah, it is, right? And then, I'm gonna clean up my crib. And it's like the, little huge though. Yeah, for real, hey. And then they gave, they gave me two closets in this one. This room got a bathroom in it. Okay, yeah, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's tough, that's tough. And then, got another closet over here. And then the bathroom. Ugh. Look, yeah, bro. Okay, I see what they did. You know what I'm saying? Each room got their pros and cons. Yeah, that's like tough. it's kind of, it's kind of tough like that's that. Tough, that's but tough. really the view is the best joint. But, Wait, that's all I was like, I would tell you like, I don't, bro, I don't even mind like, Oh, to put that, he got the same thing as this? I told him, yeah, he got that, but he don't have this piece. I'm like, bro, it's a square piece that connects the phone. Oh, to yeah, it, yeah. But he don't know what it looks like. So it's, it, it's, so. it's cheap, too. Heck, yeah. You're supposed to see him uh, tomorrow. For real. Going up there, you know. We got some pairs, too. Mm -hmm. This size, too. We got mangoes, too. I only got this big one, but that's OD. Right? <laughs> nah, that's awesome. You think so? Uh, yeah. Straight for real. It's clean? Yeah, it's clean. Thought I had another one, but... Oh, well. this or taking turns, you both know. All right, it take, it take forever. Time. Got about, what, 10, 11? I don't even know, I ain't even count. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> Places like this, though, that be... Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, no cap. We out the way. So Perry is no cap, bro. They, they, they getting close to being up there with watermelon for me. And we in, that. we in season now, y'all, for watermelon. So y'all probably gonna see that a lot for me. It must starting to get up there, y'all. Every time. There was, um, there was already ripe like this. Mm-hmm. OD, right? My ham, mm -hmm. my ham begins sticky, bro. Yeah. Right, one thing about these pears, y'all, your ham, it's gonna get extra sticky, bro. No cap. Bro, I feel like a rookie today, y'all. Uh. Yesterday, I was slick, kind of solid, though. I feel like I was solid. Yeah. Where I was like, oh, yeah, I can do anything. But I think I was, I was playing it like a little bit scared today. I ain't gonna lie. Because it, it just felt like sleek. Like smooth, smooth. Yeah, right? like a little bit too smooth. Like it's weird because it's, it's probably even more dangerous doing this instead. Yeah. When you get cold fruits like cold pears, bro, top five. Comment down below what's your favorite fruit. Which y'all which y'all hitting on like watermelon, what's y'all top five? That's what that's what it is. Comment down com I said comment down. Comment below what's y'all top five fruits. For me, I got watermelon at one. Number two, probably honeydew up there. Honeydew, honeydew might be up there for me. Honeydew, next probably gonna be, I'm putting pears at five. I put them at five, they just making it, but they five. Watermelon, honeydew, dang. That three, so I need one more. I don't even know what's a what's a five fruit off the top. I'm not a mango person like that, believe it or not. 
all these mango smoothies I be doing, it's five, but <laughs> I'm really not a mango person like that. It's crazy, y'all. I hate berries. Not hate, but I don't like berries, but they the most like potent, like potent. That's how you say it? Yeah. Potent or potent? 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 potent. Yeah. No kizzy. No kizzy. Yeah. But like, yeah, like they the best fruit to get rid of a lot of stuff, but number three. I'll probably put baby bananas for real. I love bananas, I ain't gonna lie. So I'll probably put that at three. So watermelon, that's so random. Watermelon, honeydew, banana, <laughs> pear. Pineapple's at one. Yeah, pineapple's at one, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, watermelon and pineapple's kind of like the same, so that's why I don't really like to rank them, but. No cap. Pineapple's watermelon and then uh, grapes for me. For sure. Yeah. Good honeydew, and I'll take mango. Mango? Yeah. Yeah. The rest of the berries are already wrong for the money. Me either, bro. I ain't gonna lie, me either. Like, like, like eating them by themselves. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, my worst, I'll probably say my worst fruit, no kizzy. Yours, blueberries? Yeah. Oh, blueberries, not. Blueberries, I'm putting above all the. All the berries? Uh, all the berries, no cap. Blueberries, I'm definitely. Yeah. yeah. My camera about to die, too, y'all. But. We back skating, bro. You're gonna have to practice with this mug to make sure you fire. I don't know what it was, though. I felt like I was more cold when I was over here. You know what I'm saying? Prime habitat. You know what I mean? He trying to get right, too. Yeah. What is life right now? We skating, we back skating. Wash my hands. Them pears is hitting now. Hands all sticky. Yo, it's popping, y'all. We back in sprouts. We gotta go grab some mushrooms and stuff to cook with. We gonna make that uh, chickpea pasta again. Do you try to get the portobello joints? That's coconut water. What is that? I don't be knowing these brands is. But it, oh shoot. Yeah. That'd be fishy though, I don't know. These folks be trying to get folks, bro. Oh jeez. Try to get the... What's the name? What's the name? This job be all cap. <laughs> Crazy. We had switch shoes too, yeah. <laughs> Get more on a comfortable vibe. We're so trying to find the uh, coconut aminos. Yo, what's up, y'all? It is the next day. I need to show y'all what the food came out looking like. I low key forgot. <coughs> Damn, my boy's deeper in the mud right now. I'm kind of uh, behind a little bit. So I'm going to end up, dang, I was closest in the mud. But um, uh, I'm kind of like running behind on time. I got to go get an oil change. Bro, no cap. This door has been literally like opening up and closing by itself. But um, yeah, I'm running behind right now. So I actually got to get an oil change for my whip. I'm like at 5%. I do not recommend if you got a scat, Hellcat, or whatever, Trachiana. Yeah, make sure your oil is always, you know, solid and stuff. So I actually probably got to go down to um, New Smyrna because that oil change spot is like the cheapest of them all. One up here, 
over here in Orlando is going for like a 150 ball as opposed to um because I think I'm like at 40k yes I've been driving no kizzy but I'm at like 30 no well, I'm at like 39 but that it's a 40 ball so um I just got to check everything make sure everything Gucci so they checking like my AC you know when you hit a mile or whatever short story like they check everything so they doing rotate like rotating my tires oil change like the whole nine for 150 ball as opposed to just the 150 ball for the oil change. So I'm like, shoot, I'll just take the drive. So honestly, we wouldn't even call this fit. I've been cutting a lot of my hoodies. <laughs> Cause they get it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, looking at the time, think about the time. If I don't got time to make a, I just said time in four sentences in the same sentence. I don't know if I'm gonna make this uh this appointment for I don't forgot something at the crib so I gotta go back there all the way back there <laughs> to grab something and it is 11 30 right now so um I guess we're gonna see honestly I think they do walk-ins and stuff so I don't think necessarily like it really matter Quick, bro. It usually take a little bit longer, but um, ain't nobody was over here today. So we back in motion. Damn, bro, I be, I be loving these whips, bro. That mother was so loud just now. And I'm still on the verge of, I said that right, keeping it louder, bro. No cap. But, um, let's see, that was a TRX. We about to go back to Orlando right now. 
probably gonna end up, definitely gonna end up skating today. But right now, actually, I probably gotta go to USPS or UPS. I gotta return those and get my money up back. And let it be what it's gonna be. I got some other ones, I just ain't put them up yet. I probably might even try putting them up today. I mean, it kinda just, I feel like I get that aesthetic. It feel, I don't know, I feel like that's my uh, finishing piece, I guess, to call it for my room and then down the line, I'm gonna start, you know, getting uh, more stuff and things like that. So, um, yeah, I can't wait for y'all to see what the apartment going get. I mean, I still want to keep everything simple, but I want to make like decorate everything and shoot. I kind of want to get y'all opinion on it, some things too for real, for real. So, y'all comment down below any ideas y'all got for interior decorating, like um, you know, things like that. And y'all comment down below because I'm gonna be taking a lot of y'all ideas too. Y'all got some good taste just like I got some good taste. So I feel like that's why y'all watch me too. You feel me? So we be relating a lot. So um, I feel like I can, you know, I trust y'all too. No kissy. I was low key thinking about. Uh, going to see this movie again well not again but um bro I always come out here just because it's so dang peaceful but um i was thinking about going to see this is a joint called civil war i was thinking about going to see that mug because it looked like it's one of them type movies have y'all seen it's another joint called leave the world behind or something like that um and yeah like it just be a lot of it just be a lot of stuff that I'm saying if you hip, you hip, plain and simple. I ain't gonna get too much, you feel me, in the detail, things like that. But yeah, if you hip, you hip. And I think Civil War is kind of like a thing like that too. Cause the way it go, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like this world, whatever you wanna call it, them, they, whatever the world got going on, they always show you in plain sight before, you feel me? Plain and simple. But that's that, so I'm contemplating right now. I know I need to eat cause I ain't ate all day. That's one thing I am like, cause I be doing a big smoothie and then I pretty much be fasting for the rest of the day. And I gotta start getting my meals in, in between. That all it be, honestly. A lot of time I just don't be, you know what I'm saying? Like thinking of, oh dang, yeah, I ain't ate. But it's nothing of, I ain't thrown off. Like it's nothing like that. Cause I be hungry. I just be doing so much, you feel me? Or doing stuff during the day where I want to just take care of the stuff, get it done and then um, after I'm done with everything, I want to think about food then, but uh, shoot, there ain't nothing wrong with having a fruit, you know what I mean, in between the days or things like that, because I feel like that's when you can really, like, you know what I mean, heal and, you know what I'm saying, help your body out and, you know what I'm saying, give it the right nutrients and stuff, so when you're having uh, all types of fruits during, during the day and things like that, honestly, I've just been kind of uh, slacking on the fruit-wise and stuff. I've been getting it in for real, for real. Like, yesterday, I ate them pears as I peaked, but... Um, just kind of just getting some more fruits in and stuff during the day. Shoot, today's Saturday though, y'all. That's why I'm like, I want to go do something for real, for real. I got to get this stuff up. Like, get that green grass or whatever, bro. So it kind of look. I really just need to put this out the way, though. That mug a little distracting. <laughs> and this. But this is where I usually be working out outside and stuff. Especially in the morning. Like I was saying, I kind of want to put like grass all around here, green grass, and make it kind of look like, you feel me, like I'm real deal dang near, um, like I'm real deal dang near outside for real. So I think that's like the first thing I'm going to end up doing and decorating and stuff, honestly, because I feel like I'll be out here a lot. No cap. That's what we got going, y'all. We done killed the, oh, I gotta stop saying kill. We done ate the first one. Now we on the number two. So I'm about to finish eating up this. And then we finna go to this to the movies, bro. On some chill, chill day type of vibes.